Okay, hello dear friends, let's continue page 52. The past took them on past a grove of willows and wild flowers around a pavilion guarded by white peonies and rambler, rambler, rambler roses when they suddenly heard the sound of water rushing from an underground steam stream there can be no matter there can be no better choice for the title of this beautiful place than the spring of wuling the spring of wuling the spring of wuling one of the men confidently announced. A cliché, Jia Zheng objected with a smile. And anyway, there is already a real place with that name. The spring of Wu Ling Quan. Wu Ling. Mm. Another of the men looked around and said, Perhaps you will prefer the refuge of a man of Qing, Qing Ren. Qing, Qing Ren. Bi Shu, Bi Jing, Qing Ren. Bao Yu shook his head and said, how can we give it a name that makes people think of a time of war and hardship? I think sweet weed, smart weed bank, smart weed bank and flory harbor, huaga, liu an huaga, is much better. Hearing this, Jia Zheng said to his son, that is sheer nonsense mm. what a beautiful place another place Jia Zheng does not like his son's suggestion okay page 53 Jia Zheng followed the stream for a while before asking Jia Zheng whether there were there were any boats nearby. Jia Zhen told him that uh, they were not they were not ready yet and suggested that they take a detour over the hills instead. The whole group followed him, holding onto branches and steady vines as they made their way up to the up the slope. Blossom had fallen into the stream, be, into the stream below, and looked almost translucent as they were tucked along the current in the current. Weeping willow and fruit trees bent o oh, bent above them, protecting them from the sun, and the air was clean and fresh. So they were walking and holding some branches and there are tree shadows. How good. Page 54, as they rushed on beneath the willow, they spotted a wooden ridge, a wooden ridge with scarlet railing. Oh, wooden ridge with scarlet railing which they quickly crossed. They were soon confronted by the sight of the many tiles of a house built into the side of the hill, the tile, which was well hidden by many tall rocks around it. Maybe this is... Or maybe that one. Hmm. Page 55, they continued walking until they reached 
a series of grand pavilions. These must be the main palace where our illustrious relative, illustrious, illustrious relatives will stay. Jia Zheng said, the only bad thing that, uh, that can be said about these buildings is that they are too luxurious. They stood beneath a marble arch that was covered with decorations of soaring dragons and winding snakes. The sight reminded Bao Yu of something he had seen before, but he was not sure what. Before he had a chance to think about it more, he was called upon to think of a name of the place. So he had seen stood marble art that covered with decoration on oh, the site. This place... Oh, didn't see the drag. Oh, maybe this is the drag. Hmm. Page... Page 56, they hurried along since Jia Zheng had worked out that uh, they had only seen roughly half of the, of the grounds thus far at a large bridge which marked the channel, which marked the channel letting in the flow of rushing water, they once again stopped to sink of a name. This is the start of the river of sea seeping fragrance. This is the start of the river the, of the river of seeping fragrance. Pingxianghe. So sure we should call it the seeping fragrance lock. Bao Yu said, what a ridiculous idea, Jia Zheng replied. We cannot call everything seeping fragments. <laughs> so they are making this, wow. There was uh, the starting point of this river of, river of seeping fragments. Okay, page 57, they, they soon reached another lodge and entered to see a number of covered corridors linking the rooms. They found a lockery in the central courtyard, guarded by plan plantains on one side and by full blooming crab apple tree on another. Hmm guarded by plantain on one side and full bloom crab. Maybe this is crab apple tree on another. Mm. Oh, is this the one? I do not know. We could call this place majestic grandeur and dazzling resplendence. Resplendence. One of the men suggested Bao Yu shook his head and said, no, it is lacking something with both the plantain and the crab apple blossom here. We ought to refer to both red and green. Why not call it red sand and green jade? Hongxiang Lu Yu. Hongxiang Cui Yu. Jia Zheng shook his head and said, that will not do. There is red, oh yeah, red crab a apple tree and uh, plantain. Page 58, inside the lodge. 
Jia Zheng showed the group the many shelves and niches, niches which held musical instruments, scrolls, weapons, heirlooms, and other ornaments. They all hung level with the surface of the wall. Everyone remarked that the designer and the craftsman must be the best around. Oh. Music instrument and uh, wow. Page 59. As they walked towards the door, they saw another group of men fast approaching them. However, this was simply a huge mirror. Behind, beyond the mirror were many doors. Jia Zhen led the way and took the group past a pair of uh, a pair of gauze screen out into another courtyard, which was bordered by rose trellises and led onto a small clear stream. Mm. Where is the mirror? I did not see the mirror actually. They see the mirror. However, this is a simply a huge mirror. Page 16. Page 16. They walked around the stream and soon came to a large hill blocking their path. They realized they were lost. With a smile, Jia Zhen asked them to follow him and led them around, led them round the base of the hill until they reached a road close to the main entrance of the area and finally came out. Page 61. Okay. Since Jia Zheng had not given his son permission to retire, Bao Yu was forced to accompany him to the library. It was only there that Jia Zheng realized he was still being followed and said, What are you doing here? Surely. You have had enough of walking for one day. Go on. The old lady will be wondering where you are. Bao Yu left and when he stepped away from the courtyard was escorted was accosted by some of Jia Zheng's pages. Bao Yu left when he stepped away from the courtyard was a course accosted by some of Jia Zheng's pages. They grabbed hold of him and stole his scented pouch and other trinket he had in his pockets as a tip before letting him go. So, um, so these are the the educated people, the cultured people, and Jia Yu, uh, and Bao, the Jia Bao Yu, Bao Yu wanted to go, and his pages um, let him go, but uh, took some of his uh, his little trinket and uh, and toys. The Lady Dowage had been awaiting Bao Yu's return and was delighted to find that. His father had not made life difficult for him. Mm. Bao Yu's father is Jia Zheng. Jia Zheng was a very uh, strict and uh, yeah, Bao Yu was uh, a lot of time was not so much uh, 
um, so much treated well or not really treated well not uh, um, anyway it's a father not uh, satisfied with Bao Yu so the Dowager was happy that Bao Yu was not being mistreated too much when Xi Ren brought Bao, brought Bao Yu some tea he noticed that he was not wearing any of his usual pouches Bao Yu usually took something, his pouch, his uh, things. Don't tell me those fools have have robbed you again, she said. Bao Yu was sitting nearby, Dai Yu was sitting nearby, and when she heard this, she asked Bao Yu, So you've given them that pouch I made for you too? I made for you and you give them to you give it to them. This must be Dai Yu. This looks Dai Yu. Mm. She got up and angrily went back to her room. Once in her room she found a pair of scissors and began to destroy the new pouches that Bao Yu had asked her to make for him. Wow. Um this must be, she must be getting the scissors and trying to cut it. Mm -hmm.